pleasant day to you all and welcome to the inaugural episode of my U new youtube program jim's stream of thought some of you might recognize me from my other youtube program uh, jim's movie musings but since the content i'll be posting here is mostly going to consist of tv shows on netflix and other streaming services i've decided to well to create a new uh, program for the purpose some of the videos might end up on the Jim's Movie Musings channel, but I'd like to draw a distinction right away between this program and that one. Anyway, for our very first episode today, we'll be reviewing the brand spanking new uh, anime series of Netflix uh, called Trece, which is adapted from a very popular and influential Filipino comic. Trece is the story of Alexandra Trece, a supernatural detective, if you will, who together with her companions, the Kambal, and her her trusty sidekick, Hank, uh, sets about solving supernatural crimes, the sort that uh, the local police find too weird or too uh, dangerous to handle. Okay. Uh, Trece was, from the time it came out, uh, back sometime in the noughties, around 2006, was a comic book that was just begging to be adapted or translated into some other form and i'm happy to say that netflix with this particular series has really done an excellent job they've brought on board uh two animation studios who render the world created by uh, creators Bojetan and kajo baldissimo with such loving fidelity i mean they basically bring manila to life on the small screen and it's wondrous to behold. The animation is top-notch. The action sequences, the the rendering, the character design, all, all of it is just fantastic. Um, in terms of voice acting, well, the notable audio tracks are, of course, the English dub, which is the original. And you'll notice that from the lip movements of the characters. But, of course, the, the Filipino dub is of equal prominence given the origin of Trece. And given the fact that... Not only is she from the Philippines, not only are the, her creators Filipino, but the entirety of the story is set in Manila as well. So uh, a lot of props have to go to the Filipino voice cast. And there's also some bits about, there's also some commentary about how the Japanese dub is also a credible way to watch the series, given that it is by and large anime inspired. Well, I'll share with you my thoughts on the audio track later, but suffice it to say that um, in terms of in terms of how well the voice cast give life to the characters, uh, focus for me goes on the lead actresses, the actress playing the actresses playing uh, Alexandra Teres in her various incarnations. She is played in English by Filipino Canadian actress Shay Mitchell, and in the Tagalog dub by uh, Filipino well, prominent Filipino actress Liza Soberano. And well. Uh, I have to say that with uh, one exception, at the very least, or with some exceptions, Shea Mitchell does a very good job uh, capturing the English dialogue of Trece. In terms of Liza Soberana's performance, well, she's accused of, she's been accused of delivering a wooden performance, uh, an assessment with which I would have to respectfully disagree, but more on that later. Okay. Now, just, just to go back, I have to say this this series, it, it's it's really strong right out the gate. It's six episodes, uh, all of which have been adapted uh, more or less faithfully from around the first uh, the first six issues of Bojetan's and Kajabal Desimo's original run back in the noughties. And quite remarkably, even though Tan and Baldesimo didn't create this series with any specific social commentary in mind the writers who adapted this show have done a really good job of interweaving commentary on the current situation of the philippines there's there are commentaries on police brutality on corruption and politics and even uh, a couple of jabs at the folks in power right now um now i know that corruption and and uh police abuses aren't anything new but there's something really uh, admirable about the way the writers managed to weave everything and make everything seem topical considering that the original stories were well over 10 years old 
and I really love how this series introduces the uninitiated to Filipino mythology. I mean, it's it's not so much of an info dump as it won't that won't be accessible to people. It, it's it's the world building is is really good. I mean, the, the writing is is just really tight. It introduces us to a lot of uh, very prominent Filipino mythological creatures like Tikbalang, uh, Nunuk Sapunso, and Aswangs, of course. And it does so in a way that doesn't really tax the viewers. It doesn't really ask that much of the viewer. It, it's it's a really smooth ride. Uh, now, as much as I like to say it's all sunshine and rainbows, that's not exactly the case. There are a couple of issues that stuck with me. Uh, Although in the final analysis, I, I, I was able to forgive them. That said, okay, that said, while I was generally okay with the English dub, with the way the characters delivered their lines, I think uh, some genuine issue with about 50% of the Filipino-American cast delivering their lines because their accents were this really strange a uh, mishmash of Latin American slash Mexican accents. Now, it, I will concede that it's entirely possible that this is this is what constitutes these people's Filipino accents in the U.S. or in Canada. But we have to remember, Teresa is not set in the U.S. nor is it set in Canada. And if these people talk like this as Phil Ams or Phil Canadians, the characters they play are not. The characters they play are Filipinos. So even if they're speaking English, they're supposed to speak with distinct Filipino accents. And I have to say, with due respect to such luminaries as Lou Diamond Phillips, among others, you know, if you're going to speak as a Filipino, even, even if you're going to speak in English, if you're going to speak as a Filipino in the Philippines, you should at least take the effort to put on a proper Filipino accent. And that in many cases in this uh, series that is simply not the case which brings me to probably the biggest problem in terms of voice acting now as much as i as as much as i credit shay mitchell with bringing alexandra Teresa to life in the english dub every time she opens her mouth to speak tagalog dialogue it is pure cringe i'm serious here folks i am not, i'm not exaggerating okay and it's it's not so bad when she says short phrases like tabi tabi po. but when she says things like ipakita or ibunyag ang nakatago holy moly you just it just kind of sends a chill down your spine how bad it is remember Teresa is not a philam she's not a phil canadian she's filipino through and through so she when she says ibunyag ang nakatago holy crap okay and i mean if, as if insult you know, as if it wasn't bad enough, it was pain. It was even more painful that Stephen Bloom, who plays Datu Talagbusa, one of the main antagonists, does not have a drop of Filipino blood in his body, to my knowledge, and yet manages to deliver Tagalog lines better than Shay Mitchell. Okay, so bottom line, Netflix, if you're listening, and I know a lot of people are calling you out on this, you have to get Shay Mitchell a better freaking dialogue coach. I know that. A lot of your actors are not native Tagalog speakers. Okay, they're just of Filipino descent. That cannot be your sole criteria for casting them. They have to put in the work. Okay, so now just let's just work with us on this. Okay, we're we're your core audience here. Okay. Second point. Second point that was a sticking point for me with this series. The writing is is tight as as all get out. It's for the most part the script is just really smooth and. And, and I, for one, I, I thought that they did a great job. Your writers did a great job adapting the, the original stories by Tan and Baldissimo. But when you get to the sixth episode, Tatu Talagpusao just delivers this really painful exposition dump. Okay? I mean, I'm sorry, but it reminded me of that scene in The Incredibles. You sly dog! You got me monologuing! I can't believe it! <laughs> okay, and the, 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 it, it, it's, it's not, this is not some nitpick, okay? Exposition dumps are a no-no. Remember the rule, show don't tell? Well, you just spent a good third of the final episode telling, and that was not good. Okay, that was not good. I really hope you guys get 
to do more than one season. I hope you get a season two, three, four, whatever. But the bottom line, however more seasons you get, you must not do this again, please. Okay. All right. That aside, this series is still a solid eight. Okay. I mean, we're talking about really astonishing production value. We're talking about animation that stands on par with anything else Netflix has produced. Yes. I am including all of the other stuff, Yasuke, the Transformers, the, Tra the Pacific Rim series, all of that. Okay, th this, this series, is it deserves a lot of love. So just big, big shout out to anyone who might want to boot like this. You bastards had better watch this legit. Okay, do not screw Netflix out of their much deserved, much needed ratings to keep this series afloat. Do not even think about about pirating the show, torrenting it, whatever. Watch this legit. Rate it. Let Netflix know that you think it deserves more than one season. Please. This series deserves a solid eight. Yeah, I know there's issues with the voice acting. Yeah, I know there's uh, narrative issues with the final episode. But the, the, the mere fact that Netflix took a chance on a Filipino comic book, a very culturally specific work of fiction, and brought it to such vivid life, this is something that deserves not only attention, but it deserves our, our support. And Netflix, if you're listening, it deserves at least another season. Please take note. Okay, so that's it for our inaugural episode. Uh, I'll be back hopefully soon with my review of Lupin, the second part of Lupin, and the other uh, sci-fi work I'm enjoying right now, the other fantasy work I'm enjoying right now, uh, Sweet Tooth. Okay, so if you like what you see, remember to give me a like and a subscribe.